Hi there, Diana from Adirondack Girl at Heart here. Today I'm going to show you how to stencil. I'm going to give you a couple of tips. It's not a rocket science, but um, there are some tricky aspects to it. Today I'm using a stencil from um, Angie at Nick of Time. She makes a whole series of vintage stencils that I just love and she sent me this one to use and I've used it several times already. Uh, today I'm going to be using um, just simple craft paint that you can buy at the craft store. I'm also using one of Angie's brushes today. Fantastic. And I've already put some paint on this piece of a paper plate. I like to use it because it gives me room to tap off the paint, which is a really important step. And then I can just throw it away when I'm done. Okay, let's get started. So I'm going to load some paint onto the brush. I'm going to dip it in perpendicularly. And you can see there's quite a lot of paint on there, right? So I'm going to take some of it off and then I'm going to tap it. On my plate until it gets nice and dry um, that looks about right right there okay and now I'm gonna go over to my stencil that I've taped down um, I used painters frog tape I'm gonna hold the stencil with my hands too because that's gonna um, help to keep it really tight to the surface that I'm painting on which is important to prevent bleeding of the paint under the stencil and then I'm going to pounce the paint on and it's a little got a little bit more paint on it than I like so I'm going to tap some more off okay and I'm going to come back if you have too much paint on your brush then you're going to have some bleeding trouble and you don't want that so this is called pouncing some people brush on but I find with brushing that I have more bleeding and um, we're going to go with one coat right now. Um, but if after you take your stencil off, you would like it to be darker, then you can just lay your stencil back down, tape it, and put on another coat of paint. Okay? So you don't have to wait. You can remove your stencil right away. Do it carefully. You don't want to... Um, brush the stencil up against your work. And there you go. Stenciling 101. I hope that helped you today. If you have any questions, be sure to leave them in the comments, okay? Take care and God bless.